Hey everybody, it's Dr. Josh here and I'm at home where my kids, they all just finished up their homework and I just finished doing some of my own, which today involves some reading and research about a most unusual medical condition, a weird but true story that I've got to just share with you now. Here's how this works. The condition I'm referring to is called Otto Brewery Syndrome, also known as Intestinal Fermentation Syndrome, and here's how it works. Inside the human gastrointestinal tract, there are trillions of microorganisms. You may have heard them referred to as the GI microbiome. These are bacteria and yeast that form an ecosystem, almost like a, like a garden living inside the colon. Now, if that garden is healthy and well-balanced, all is good in the world. But if that balance gets upset and the good, healthy microbes get replaced by less healthy ones, then problems can arise. And often, it's very common to see these types of problems present as intestinal or gastrointestinal problems, gas, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, these sorts of problems. But where things get weird is when the imbalance favors the growth of a particular yeast that's known as Saccharomyces cerevisiae. If that sounds at all familiar, that's because that yeast is used to ferment the ingredients in beer, like barley, malt, and hops. Turn those ingredients into beer ferment the carbohydrates, and turn them into alcohol, ethanol. Now, if a human intestinal tract gets overgrown with Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the human eating carbohydrates, grains, fruits, etc., can see measurable levels of ethanol, or blood alcohol levels, arise after the ingestion of a meal. And this is indeed what autobrewery syndrome is. This is the fermentation by intestinal yeast of dietary carbohydrates into ethanol or alcohol. And there are a number of case reports in the literature where people come in stumbling drunk to an emergency room having not drank a sip of alcohol and it's all been manufactured by the organisms that live inside their GI tract. So it's important to nourish the, the microbes that live inside your bowel by eating well, taking digestive enzymes with your meals, probiotics if necessary, especially if you ever take antibiotics, to try to avoid the dreaded auto-brewery syndrome. So I hope you enjoyed that. Take good care.